welcome back to all my listeners on this channel your own channel seek the soul the truth lies within so here again we are with a spiritual friend of mine raj didi welcome back to this channel for your second session on something which we had left in the first session back and we had decided that we going to talk about something very interesting over here especially for our viewers and thank you to all the viewers who have sent their likes and have given their comments in our previous video we are so grateful so thankful to you and thank you for sharing this video for and spreading the news around to many other souls so thank you so much and om shanti om shanti to you too so rajdhiti today we are here with the continuation of the previous topic in which we have come to a conclusion that we need to understand one thing which is very important the response and reaction time and how do we respond to certain situations in our life and how do we react so what do we choose amongst these two things should we respond or should we react so what do you have to say to any kind of situation in our life could be personal situation financial situation or anything how do you think uh, we can differentiate between responding and reacting to it okay there is a difference between reacting and responding okay okay reacting is uh, without thinking sure you just explode sure to the situation right okay it is an instant reflex action right connected to our ego right anyone says anything to us which we think they are hurting us they are insulting us sure then we react immediately right thinking they are attacking us right even situations in life right death uncertainty right that uh, causes us to react rather than respond sure where as respond is when we stop a little sure look at the whole situation without any judgment okay without any judgment at all okay just observe what is happening so you mean to say being neutral not exactly okay you don't have to be neutral you just observe it okay and then respond accordingly okay accordingly you know respond you think about it and what how you should respond to it then you go ahead with it it's not like somebody something you lash back immediately right actually this is what we lack this is what we lack we are so used to this uh reaction immediately without thinking again thinking comes into it because okay. i feel uh, you know some way or the other we get we get poked by certain words of certain people and it just takes a fraction of a second for us to have that gush of energy of maybe anger or how could they say something like this what do they mean what do they think of themselves when they say something that is uh, that is exactly uh, you know what i mean to say is it's the ego that is hurt okay it's the ego that is hurt because we think of ourselves as perfect beings yeah perfect human no mistakes nothing the other one's always wrong right. i'm always right right so that is the problem so, so is ego is a, what is ego it's a false attachment uh, it's an attachment to a false image of ourselves so isn't it good to have so we have to some form of ego in this world like i need to have some kind of ego of right for myself you know even when somebody is putting me down if i know that i'm right i need to i need to be standing that ground and saying that yes i am right is that ego or is that pride you no know, uh my opinion is self respect and not ego okay when you have self respect you will know where that person is coming from right why that person said that, and usually it is always they are angry at themselves okay it's not you it's not you okay they angry at themselves for something that happened that day or somebody else must have treated them and you have to face the brunt of it at the end of it. so could it be so they have expectation compassion you hear them out okay you listen to them what they have to say 
and then you see whether they sometimes they are correct also in assessing us right. so if you are wrong you correct yourself if not not at the moment when that in the heat of the argument you can go back to that person later and clarify this is what i meant to say and this is what you understood but, you know uh, just clarify the situation but not immediately yeah i understand that but then you know there there's a very thin line between the time which we get to react and respond you know that energy which is bubbling inside of the heat which is there of anger just wants to leave the mouth or the eyes to show that yes you have said something which is not at all acceptable so how do we just control ourselves should we avoid ourselves from getting to confrontation should we just move away not look at them or look at them and still smile what what should we do because that's boiling inside us yes because we are not aware we are not aware okay you know we just let the thoughts just course through us and it just comes out of our mouth right but suppose we are aware right what we do is we do not confront them then and there like i said right it later on so you have to have that gap okay. you have to stop that not control mm-hmm. controlling if when once you try to control something it becomes very difficult you let yourself understand right you know don't go to the why that person said it but how i can rectify this okay okay you're right you can put your words you can put your opinion across but when the person is in a mood to listen to you okay so when the, the person is time, in a better frame of mind so response time has to be delayed for us for some time i believe yes stop for a minute even if not a minute a second okay you know usually they say to control your anger again control 1 2 3 for the tell you to count to 10 right right okay instead of counting you breathe mm-hmm. take a deep breath or two and then try to understand what what that person is saying okay and then you respond you observe first okay in a detached manner what is happening okay and then you respond and not react for that you have to be connected to your inner self okay and that connection comes through meditation okay so can we think certain thoughts over here or guide our mind in such a manner with a simple form of meditation which our listeners can actually listen to even if they're not sitting in the right place right now maybe later on they can go home and they can close the doors and sit down and listen to the yes. same thing and then meditate over yes. it So can we go ahead with a simple uh, guided meditation? I just want to clarify this word meditation. Many people think meditation is very difficult. Ah uh, yeah, that's the main thing which I also face. And no one wants to meditate. Right. Because they think meditation means to still your thoughts. Okay. Have no thoughts. Right. But that is not possible. Right. Meditation actually means directing your thoughts. in a proper manner. Right. It's not that you have to stop thinking. Right. Whatever situation has arisen, right. You reflect on that. Okay. And you come up with a solution. Okay. That is meditating, connecting to your inner self and through your inner self to the super power. So, can we have a one minute meditation over here? Sure. Sure. So let's uh, relax and sit down in a very Let's space. sit comfortably. And I erect uh, before you meditate. comfort is uh, necessary otherwise your thoughts will go to your you know this is paining and that is paining it's just that you just sit straight okay just sit, sit straight that is the only requirement Fine. let's take a deep breath let's see the breath when is all this then again let's breathe in Removing all the negativity in my mind. Let's do it once more. Okay. I am the creator of my thoughts. respond 
and not yeah the choice is mine let us stop for a minute in any situation that confronts us and decide I want to respond to this situation. Let us forget the word obviously. Take it away from the vocabulary. Because obviously means I do not have a choice. I want peace in my life. I have to create peace in my life. Thank you so much for this beautiful meditation. I felt relaxed. Nothing else came to my mind, just these thoughts that the word obviously has to go away. And then at the same time, I have to take some time before I react. And I need to keep that in my mind, I guess. And uh, I believe that our listeners over here also, who have loved this meditation, would love to go ahead and uh, share this message with many other people. Do go ahead and like and subscribe. If you really like it, only do then. And we'll see Raj Didi in the next episode and we're going to come up with something beautiful, another thing which we can share with you. If you have any questions, do put up your questions in the comments down below and we'll go ahead and answer them as soon as possible. Whenever Raj Didi is free, she'll be amongst us again on this channel. Thank you for watching. Thank you so much, Raj Didi. Thank you. See you again. Om Shanti. Om Shanti.